Hey guys, it's Frances, and I kind of have a different look for you for this time of year. I got kind of sick of the darker colors, and I want something a little lighter and brighter. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, here are my base colors. I chose them to go together because look at that beautiful green flash in this beautifully bizarre, which is that pink color that's got that green flash that matches so well with the vintage, and these are both Orly polishes. And I chose to go with Beautifully Bizarre as my accent nails, and I'm putting it on my middle and ring finger, and it went on pretty nicely at one code. If I had just left it alone, um, I manipulated a little too much and left kind of a bald spot, but actually does clear up at two coats. And then on the rest of my fingers, I'm going with Vintage. This applied beautifully again. I decided to manipulate it. I should have left it right there but I manipulated a little too much. Again, this was on perfect at two coats. Here I've added, I'm adding a clear coat. I sped this up for you so that you don't have to watch me add a clear coat in real time. And this is just to prepare my nails for what's gonna come next because I can't just leave these all alone. Right now I'm using this Wet n Wild Clear Polish and I am placing large rectangles all over my Bundle Monster mat because I'm going to do decals for every nail. I could have done reverse stamping here, but I don't have enough clear stamper heads to do the reverse stamping, and I really wanted very precise placement for this particular look. It was very important that I got those flowers exactly where they needed to be, and I thought decals would be the best way to go here. And this, I'm using the Bundle Monster Magically Polished, uh, collaboration and this is a the Mundo de Uñas in dark gray. I didn't want to go stark black with this one and this is the first attempt and it picked up beautifully. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that and place it on the dried clear polish. I went ahead and stamped this image enough for all my nails and now I am going to start filling it in with color. I'm using a dotting tool and this is Beautifully Bizarre and I'm going ahead and filling in the Beautifully Bizarre flowers are going on the vintage nails and vice versa. I'm hoping that makes sense. Uh, this one took two coats actually and you'll see that in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. Now, I had measured these against my nail before, so I realized that I only needed to color in certain of the flowers to go on my nails. This one right here is going to go on my pinky. I couldn't get all that big cluster of flowers on my pinky because my pinky is a much smaller nail, so I chose to go with just the single flower for my pinkies. Okay, now I'm going in with the Vintage for those two accent nails. And this one actually covered perfectly in one coat. And I actually did not speed these up for you. I wanted you to see how long it actually takes me to fill in. It's not too bad. And the beauty part of these clear mats is now I can turn this over and check and make sure that it looks good and I realized that I was missing a spot on one of the flowers so now I can go back in and add. And then of course I have to leave this and wait to dry and then I'm going to go back and check and those were already dry so I added a second coat because it wasn't as opaque as I needed it to be. This polish is not as opaque as the vintage. It's still beautiful though. And then I'm going to go ahead and check and see that that looks good. And it does when it's all dry. And this took about 10 minutes to dry. I'm going to add another layer of clear over. And you want to make sure that you go well beyond what the boundaries of the decal for that clear. Because when you go to pull it up, you want to be able to catch the whole thing. So now after about 15 minutes, I'm going to go in, check and make sure it's dry. And it is. And I'm going to start carefully going across the side and lifting up the edges. You have to be really careful with these. These are very delicate and I'm peeling very gently, very gingerly. I don't want to break or uh, manipulate 
that because if it's not dry enough, if it's not super dry, you can actually pull it and it'll distort the image. And I almost distorted a couple of the first images I did. I did my right hand first just to see how everything was going to go on. And those decals, because I'm very impatient, were not as dry as the other ones. So I had to be really, really careful. These are a lot drier now, these ones that are going on my left hand. And then I can just lay this and see where I want it to go. So I didn't like the placement. So I was able to go in and manipulate that placement. Another thing is if you don't let them dry long enough, when you put it down, it may be too tacky. And once you lay it down, you might not be able to manipulate it again. So there's, there's a happy medium there because I know if I've gone too long waiting for a decal, sometimes they get too brittle. But this was kind of perfection. So I would say 15, 20 minutes to about a half an hour is probably your optimum time for waiting. And I'm going to go in now. I know you could cut these. I opted not to cut them, um, but I opted to use this metal um, cuticle tool and try and separate the edges around my nail. Now, in hindsight, and I think I say that a lot in my videos, in hindsight, I think I would have gone around with a orange wood stick with some acetone on it to help separate it a little bit better because as you can see I'm kind of th this is taking a little bit of time and this is not sped up either because I wanted you to see exactly how this was and I'm kind of going around with that pointy part and seeing if I can cut the decal a bit and then I can go ahead and take my tweezers and peel off the parts that I can't that um, are separated. And there, that actually didn't go too badly. And I know some of you are gonna cr cringe when you see this part, but I kind of pulled at the end there. And you can only do this if it's really dry. If, it, if there's any wetness with those flowers right there, it would have smudged. Now I'm gonna go around with just a cleanup brush and some pure acetone, and I'm going to go around the edges and clean that up, make sure that it's adhered and dissolve the edges. And yep, I did. I messed up the corner a little bit there, but honestly, from a distance, you can't really tell. And now I'm gonna go in for the pinky. I'm gonna show you the placement for the pinky. And this is that one single flower. I'm gonna make sure I get it right on the edge there. And they'll be the same pull apart cleanup process. I left this one on too because I wanted you to see what happens if you don't separate the decal carefully from the edge. So I guess I got frustrated with the metal tool and decided to go in with my tweezers. I do not recommend this guys because those tweezers, if you pinch yourself, it's not so much fun. So I'm going to come back in with that metal stick and do the same thing and I'm just pushing around the edges to separate that decal. So far so good. Not too bad. I'm gonna get around that top cuticle edge part. And let's see, let get this separated. Now I'm gonna go pull it up because I thought, it, oh boy. Now I have to try and salvage it. And it actually wasn't too bad to salvage. I realized I need to go and separate a little bit better. And I was able to save the day, but I got really nervous for a minute there. Thank God, again, that these decals were super dry, because if not, I think it would have been a huge mess. And ultimately, the cleanup on this wasn't too bad. I'm going to come in with my acetone again, dissolve that bottom part, especially underneath the tip of your fingernail. And like I said, the cleanup was not bad at all. The cleanup was actually pretty good and I am just loving the dark gray with these colors I am really really happy with this one okay now once I placed all my decals I'm going to put in put on rather my top coat and it will adhere everything together and this is my final look I love this one this might might be my favorite of all time 
Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.